So much for the choke. Resurgent Arsenal humiliated Chelsea in 5-0 rout, writes Oliver Holt, while Blues look half a team without Cole Palmer. So much for the choke. So much for the idea that you can set your clocks by the moment Arsenal bottle it. So much for the idea that Mikel Orteta's side is somehow preternaturally inclined to lose its nerve in the white heat of a title race and hand the trophy to Manchester City. Arsenal are not choking. If anything, it is the opposite. They are resurgent, they have dealt with the blip of their home defeat to Aston Villa, an elimination from the Champions League at the hands of Bayern Munich and now they are playing like kings again. They did not just beat Chelsea last night. They humiliated them. That is not a particularly high bar this season, admittedly, but Arsenal looked back to their very best in a 5-0 rout in which Martin Odegaard was breathtakingly brilliant and Declan Rice and Bukayo Saka were not far behind. Chelsea were awful. Even when they played passively in spells in the first half, their finishing was comically bad. Without Cole Palmer, they looked like half a team. They had gone eight league games without defeat before this match but their revival, if it was ever that, was brought to a shuddering halt in North London. This was about Arsenal, though. The win lifted them three points clear of Liverpool at the top of the table and four clear of City, although City have two games in hand and are still favourites to lift their fourth title in succession next month. Kai Havertz, right, had no problem celebrating the first of his two goals against his former club. Arsenal were resurgent in their 5-0 win over Chelsea to dismiss claims they are choking. Their home fans were in full voice as they watched their side send a message in the title race. Mikel Orteta masterminded Arsenal's biggest ever victory over Chelsea on Tuesday night. The way Arsenal are playing, though, the manner of this victory, the fact that they have the points on the board, is evidence that they are not going to fade away this season without an almighty fight. If City, or Liverpool, are going to win it, they are going to have to do it the hard way. The pressure is back on the two teams in pursuit. Many felt Arsenal had won the game the moment the team sheets were released an hour before the kickoff. They showed, as had been widely trailed, that Palmer was absent through illness. Chelsea have started to become known as Cole Palmer FC because of his excellence. It was a significant loss. Palmer has been Chelsea's outstanding player this season after his move from Manchester City last summer. There have been times when he has looked levels above his teammates. It has got to the point where you'd pay the price of admission just to see him play. Whether it be the drop of the shoulder that fooled Rodri in Saturday's FA Cup semi-final against City or a brilliant flash of creativity, there is always something to admire, which was why his absence was the main pre-match talking point. No Palmer was trending on X. If Chelsea feared how they would fare without Palmer, those fears were justified within the first five minutes. Arsenal mounted their first proper attack. Rice drove forward down the inside left channel and slipped the ball to Leandro Trossard. Trossard's fierce strike shot straight through Jorge Petrovic's legs and into the net. Leandro Trossard opened the scoring with his 10th Premier League goal of the season. Axel de Saisai, right, came closest to grabbing an equaliser in the first half for the visitors. Ben White, middle, produced a composed finish to double Arsenal's advantage. Gunners skipper Martin Odegaard produced a virtuoso performance in the centre of midfield. Soccer was looking sharp and eager again after his recent dip in form and five minutes later, Arsenal should have been further ahead. Some typical quick thinking by Odegaard, Arsenal's creative fulcrum, freed Kai Havertz in the Chelsea box but Havertz hesitated too long and by the time he tried to pass to Rice for a tap-in, Chelsea were alive to the danger. Nicholas Jackson who distinguished himself only with his profligacy against City at Wembley, was lucky to escape a red card with a studs-up challenge that made Takahiro Tomiyasu's ankle buckle but by midway through the half, Chelsea were starting to gain a foothold in the game. Axel de Saisai threw himself at a flick-on from Ben Ora Bejeshile but the ball was just too far in front of him and then, when Jackson broke away down the left, his cross was inadvertently deflected past David Raya by Gabriel and the home crowd breathed a collective sigh of relief when it bounced to safety off the outside of the post. The chances started to come thick and fast. De Saisai nearly deflected a Trossard shot past Petrovic from point-blank range but the ball bounced off the goalkeeper's chest. Havertz saw a low shot saved by the Serbian keeper and, at the other end, Enzo Fernandez side footed wide from the edge of the area after Mark Cucurella's pile driver had cannoned off Ben White. 
Play swung from one end to the other as both midfields struggled to gain control. It was inevitable that one decent chance would fall to Jackson before halftime and equally inevitable that he would miss it. It came two minutes before the interval when Conor Gallagher, the Chelsea skipper, curled in a superb cross from close to the byline. Jackson got in front of his man six yards out but instead of heading the ball, he inexplicably put his hand in front of his face and the ball hit a combination of hand and face and fell limply to the floor. You have got to be braver, an exasperated ally McCoist said on TNT Sports. Odegaard was close to his majestic best and he played a beautiful reverse pass to Havertz that put him through on goal. Havertz timed his run well but his finish, again, was weak and Petrovic was able to deflect it behind off his legs. Havertz scored his second with a precise finish of the post, taking his tally in the league to 11. White scored a fortuitous fifth after a brilliant pass from Odegaard, left, to the delight of the home support at the Emirates. Mauricio Pochettino watched on as his Chelsea side were dismantled at the Emirates. The Blues remain ninth in the table after seeing their hopes of European qualification dented. It was only a momentary reprieve from Mauricio Pochettino's side. Chelsea failed miserably to deal with an Arsenal short corner, allowing Odegaard acres of space to work his magic at his leisure. Rice swept a shot towards goal from the edge of the box. It was blocked but the ricochet fell to White, who curled it home with a plumb with his weaker left foot. Odegaard, who else, was the provider again 10 minutes after the break when Arsenal put the game out of reach. His searching ball from deep inside his own half freed Havertz for a race on goal with Cucurella. Havertz held Cucurella off and clipped his shot expertly over Petrovic and into the roof of the net. Two goals in five minutes had won the game for Oteter's team. They didn't need any more help from poor Jackson but he gave it to them anyway. When good work from Noni Majuk freed him on the edge of the six-yard box, Jackson sidestepped his man superbly and then, with the goal at his mercy, slid his shot very precisely into the side netting. The game turned into a rout midway through their half when soccer jinked in from the right and slipped the ball to Havertz 15 yards out. Havertz took a touch and speared his shot low onto Petrovic's left where it bounced off the foot of the post and rolled in. Arsenal made it 5 after 70 minutes when Odegaard chipped a ball forwards for White and White volleyed it ever so casually over Petrovic. It may have been intended as a cross but by that stage, no one cared. The rout had become a humiliation. Thanks for watch this video if you like this don't forget like and subscribe this channel. Goodbye.